All right, so we are going to start with Scorpio bonus read. Scorpio, how are you guys doing? We're going to jump into your bonus read today oh, and see what's going on for you and your person. Now, I did your singles. I did your main. So let's see what's going on. Scorpio, happy, happy day, singles. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Let me get this card, period. All right, Scorpios, if this does resonate, remember to like the video. Give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel if it does. Now, if it doesn't resonate, you guys, I'm going to have your playlist linked below in the description box. Sorry, you guys. I'm so unprepared. All right. Your playlist is going to be linked below in the description box and also guys go over to the instagram and support the cause as soon as we hit the 5k mark we're definitely going to start those free personal readings over there if that's something that you want to support the link will be in the bio for that thank you guys for all your love and support and everything you guys make this channel what it is okay so thank you thank you thank you all right so let's get into it and see what the energy is scorpio um, what we have for you today when it comes to this energy, what the angels want you to know, okay? I'm getting a card, two of wands, okay? Again, in reverse. Some kind of um, self-worth self issue or making a decision that you're, what you weren't happy with, something that didn't fulfill you, that is also coming back up. Tell me more about this situation. Tell me more about the situation where i'm sitting you guys is so peaceful i'm getting like this peaceful like nobody's bothering me so far i mean there was this cleaning guy and he was taking up the bags and stuff off the parking areas but i thought he was gonna say something but he hasn't um so i'm like really happy in this energy so ooh, the seven of pentacles in reverse okay all right, I just feel like someone is not interested, like investing in the situation. Like they're not totally invested in this situation. It's like someone is definitely struggling with a decision that has been made that is not doing anything for them. It's not making them any money. It's not building them up. <clears throat> this is what I'm being told. It's like this energy that is just still in the process of just being still. And it's just not growing. Like this energy is not growing. This is what I'm being told here. Okay. So tell me more about this. Tell me more about this. Then we have the emperor. Okay. And then we have... The Page of Cups in reverse. What is this card that just fell over to the floor? I can't even get to it. Hold on, y'all. We gotta get it. I don't wanna get it. Ugh. If I could, y'all, that card, I'll get it. I'll get it in a minute. <laughs> Cause that card is all the way somewhere over there. But there is an apology that is not happening because this person's pride. This is what I'm feeling. Something about this person pride and also the determination of this person. This is like this person determination of making you feel this way, making you feel incomplete, making you feel unloved, unappreciated. This is what I'm feeling here with this card, okay? And then the seven of pentacles here. So definitely feeling like this relationship is just not growing. There's like no growth to this relationship for some reason. Okay, so let's see what we have. Tell me more. Tell me more. Ah, these cards keep falling. These cards keep falling, y'all. All right, so we have the Six of Cups. This is someone from your past. But, um, this person is just, you you're, You have good thoughts about them too. It's like, you, it's like I'm getting this connection of not trying to give up on this because 
you like this person as much as they like you and it's just hard to just let go of something so you know like powerful I'm not saying like this is the best this is like the best person in the world but I'm just saying like you feel like this is this this love is just so like it's just so important to you it's like hard to let go from it and to start over okay I'm feeling like the king of pentacles in reverse you know something about this decision look at that you're in and you're out not sure if this is where you want to be it's because you're being pushed to do this it's not like you want to that's not the vibe that I'm getting like you want to do this it's like you're being pushed to do this situation like this is the best thing for you kind of vibe that's that's what you're feeling okay then we have the king of pentacles this king of pentacles in reverse it's like this person you can see this person and you building this um legacy you know everything that you ever wanted but for some reason this person is in this workaholic mode of just diving into work and not paying attention to what's going on capricorn virgo taurus energy when it comes to love i'm not saying the love is not there because it is but it's this is why you're having such a hard time with this energy i feel like there's a complication here that is, is not necessary that's what i'm feeling like somebody's making this complicated okay when it's not complicated tell me about this what's this bonus message for scorpio what's the bonus message for scorpio These cards just want to fall to the ground. All right, it's three of wands. We have the lovers in reverse. We have the six of pentacles in reverse as well, okay? A lack of balance here, y'all. A lack of balance. This person is not showing their affections or love or gratitude towards you. It's like they're waiting for something. They're waiting for another opportunity or something that's coming up for them. They have to make a choice. okay this person is waiting to make some kind of choice about traveling getting away this is sad because if that's the case this is this is why you know i'm getting gemini here with this lovers could be a gemini that you're you're dealing with but it's just it's showing up as like a twin flame connection for some of you that twin flame pull getting eeries it's just that like this person is just creeping me the hell out honestly with this three of pentacles and this the reason why they're not showing enough it, this this affection this love is showing me that you guys are in separation as well this person is from your past they want to come back um, and they're going to show up, okay? But it's telling me like this person is not chasing. Let me see what the other card is that fell to the ground because this is like getting on my nerves right here. Okay, I got it. I got it, y'all. So we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. This is how I picked it up, okay? It's like a loss here. It's a waste of time. Somebody saying there's a loss within this connection and this relationship. You know? Um, something is needed. Work needed to, needs to be done here. This is what I'm, I'm feeling like. This person hasn't been not only investing in you, but being... A, <coughs> excuse me. Being attentive or... God. Yeah, the seven of pentacles. Seven of pentacles, eight of pentacles, six of pentacles. Oh my god. 
when it comes to building something, when it comes to a legacy, everything is in reverse. Everything is in reverse. Only thing that I can see that this person is passionate about, you know, with this emperor, like they do have some kind of passion. It's like they, they're, they're trying to show their power, their authority over you, over the situation. And it was about this page of cups with this emperor having to feel like they have to enforce the fact that they're not going to fold. They're not going to say, I'm sorry. I'm, they're not going to show any kind of emotion towards you. They're, they're, they're coming off as, hey, if you need me, I'll be here. That's it. Like, you know, it's just a, it's just a harsh way that they're showing their, their, their selves to you. Like, if you need me, I'll be here, you know, to take care of whatever I need to take care of. But, you know, I'm not here to to, to um, feed your emotional needs or be sensitive, um, you know, be kind to your sensitivity or try to, you know, like, make you feel special in any way. Like, this person, this is what this person is, a parent to come off as like that kind of energy okay come on this was like this six yeah okay so let's see what the energy is thank you angels there's somebody just came through here Oh, they're leaving. Maybe he's trying to find an empty spot too. Parking area. Thank you, angels. What's the energy for Scorpio bonus? What's the energy here for Scorpio bonus? Ah, Scorpio bonus. Hmm, Angel Michael. <laughs> you have your angel protecting you Scorpio anybody like I said before with Angel Michael is not this angel is about comfort comfort in you making sure that you're okay making sure that you are protected and I feel like whatever when it comes to any kind of dark magic or when it comes to any kind of you know dark manifestation against you with the tongue this person or with the mad with you know voodoo if you believe in that stuff dark magic okay um, against your soul, the angel Michael, no one can, and this is like the strong, a, a very serious, strong energy. Um, I mean, this angel is going to definitely protect you from any harm. Okay. And this is your energy. This is, this is who you're, who's protecting you day in, day out. And I feel like this person that you're with is the devil. And the, let me just explain why. <laughs> Because the whole time I'm reading your card, Scorpio, I'm seeing like this person is so irritated of you. And everything that they're doing is because they're trying to get some kind of reaction out of you. And it's just so ironic that when I pulled your energy, I'm seeing Angel Michael here. And any devil, okay, when they see an angel, what the hell do they do? I mean... Their skin start vibrating. They start acting stupid. You know, they start acting like, well, anybody of any light nature. Let's see. They say Scorpio, because you're coming off as light, right? You're coming off as purity. You're coming off as kind. You're coming off as someone that is going to be in the land of the beautiful. Okay? Not the land of the fire. All right? So, this person is doing this because Angel Michael is around you. Angel Michael is your energy. It's it's like you're in a room and there's this bright freaking light behind you. It's like this 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 it's like it's irritating the hell out of anybody negative. And it's not just this person, it's everyone that is not of the spirit, the light, okay? That is going to be affected by this 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 angel. Uh, and it's going to be affected by you and it, this person every time they see you they want to make your life a living hell 
because that's what they do because you're highly protected but everything that they do are is going to fall and fail and it's going to be um turned against them whatever they are building whatever hole they're building they're going to fall into that exact old hole that they're building for you and that's because of your angel your angel is protecting you do you understand what i'm saying so angel michael is your energy this is crazy this is so freaking crazy and then in the back of the card you have another archangel here the third one and i think this is about love if that's not mistaken hold on now let me just make sure because i'm just like let me just make sure no are just desires of the heart hold on let me just make sure because i still haven't learned my daggone angels yay okay period why okay my bad uh, oh, this is a, in desire. So emotional desires and life force energy. So of course you have this huge life force energy, not only around you or going through you, but all over your body. <laughs> and then on top of that, this is what this angel is doing, by the way. This is what they don't see. That's life force energy. And then it's also attached to your emotional desires. So it's going to, you're going to be feeding for someone to love you even more or some kind of real form of love emotionally a real deep form of connection and i feel like this is why you're having such a hard time walking away from this connection because you're really your angel is pushing this but this is not the right one for you because if you have angel michael surrounding you guarding you all over your damn body okay he's never leaving you until it's that time to you know when he when he feels like you are safe with whoever you're with obviously if this is your major energy there is something going on with the person that you are with their energy is not pure and angel michael is protecting you making sure that you feel you have security you have um stability you are safe you're highly protected there's no damn form of way you see this man and his sword no 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 okay Whew. okay so you have to check your folks around you and make sure you're looking at the signs because if that is your main energy scorpio for angel michael to be on your back there is something wrong with this person it's like of course they're acting this way because they're not pure they're not of a good standing they're of the darkness you understand this might that this person not might not be the devil but this person have a devil touch within them and what i when i say that it's like the devil's spirits the devil's um souls you know because of course we have fallen angels that followed satan right to 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 well to earth um and you know they work through people like us human beings okay use our thoughts use our some of them let me tell you they will go in your damn body and try to take over but that's a whole different video um if you're not highly protected but for some reason, you're highly protected. Your ancestors are praying over you, honey, on the other side. Not over, even that. People in the living as well. <laughs> Just praying and praying and, and, and on their knees over you. Look, something is like, it's like I, I'm preaching this because something is pushing me to. It's like you got to listen. You got to <sighs> I don't want to scare you, but you need to protect yourself. Your angels can do so much, okay? They can use other people to try to rescue you out of a situation when something is on is um is going to unfold and it's not going to end up into because they see the future. It's not going to end up into a positive life for you. They can put people to like break it up and stuff like that. But when it comes to you putting yourself in a situation, do you hear what I'm saying? And con and it's constantly doing that, being on your own, being in, in a, a little room with this person. There is so much can be done. Your angel Michael is, this is why your person is acting crazy because 
you have all this purity around you and this devil ass person can't take it they're vibrating they need every time they see you they need to say something to you they need to, you to know that something about you is just not right something about you is just not perfect they need to put you down they mean they need to take away that self-esteem that you got going on they need to take away that light that you got shining it's just too bright for them they can't take it you understand what i'm saying this person, every time they see you, when you walking, you could just be giving them damn coffee. They just have to just act stupid about the coffee. I don't want this. What you giving to me? What you put it in there? They have to just like mess up your whole energy. That's the vibration. They can't stand your ass because Angel Michael is right on your back. And then you have another angel that you it's like enforcing you to find something better for yourself Oof. and this wouldn't be allowed if angel michael wouldn't allow it okay because this is like the the leader to me as a reader in the gang okay <laughs> the leader gabrielle is good too but gabrielle tends to be jealous of angel michael okay um no he ain't okay let's say you you seen the movies all right love you <laughs> archangels yeah they're basically gods you know what i'm saying God, that's what that's the first angels god made before then he made human beings and you know god wanted more you know he made the angels first and he wanted more he wanted more he wanted people to have their own you know to, to to be able to make their own choices and this is why a lot of the angels fell out of heaven okay and went and followed satan's ass because they were like damn god you couldn't let us have the same shit? <laughs> we gotta obey you. That's why they're jealous of y'all. So be careful with them demon angels. Like they be people be calling up and dark magic and stuff like that. Protect your ass, okay? Protect your ass, okay? Because once they get inside your ass, when you start call, you see, everything has a karmic effect. When you use dark magic, y'all. And I, I see, I, you know, I see people, you know, using dark magic and shit like that and talking about dark magic and, and how to use it. You're calling them demons. And if that demon don't fulfill their duty, and this is how a demon doesn't fulfill their duty. Because you call, okay, somebody calls up, the, you go to somebody, okay, and say listen i want to put someone i want to put a spell on this person that i love i, I don't want them to go nowhere okay because i love them <laughs> all right then the person that you go to go ahead and give you what you need uh, whatever and tell you how to use it and the demon is is going to be called right so you go home you put this spell on this person and you don't realize that this person, this person, which is you, had Michael all over them, okay? And this occurs only, not only when, but everybody has their own angels, you know, following them around. But you are highly protected. You're more protected for this angel to be following you around because of your ancestors, your your the people around you that you don't even know you might have went to church or something and people just can't stop thinking about you because your ancestors are praying above for some kind of protection upon you so the earth the earth the people in earth is actually feeling that energy for you and sister day like damn i can't i can't forget sister brown you know i gotta pray for sister brown remember that lady that came her energy is in me I have to pray for her. And then she get the whole day on church to start praying for you. Or it could just be people that you just met. That's just like looked at you. Or people just see, seen you across the street and just decide to pray for you. Because something told them to. And this is all because of your ancestors. People that they think that death is the end. Death is not the end. They're over there watching over you. Praying over you. You know. Still. Because see when you're a past. You don't have. You don't carry this burden. That you have in a physical world you guys you don't and i'm sorry to talk to you in your video but y'all need to understand so let me get to the point where this fail this creature fails right and what happens 
So when the cre the creature feels, they 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 come in to do their work and get they they went in the room where your ass is, and then they see Angel Michael standing guard. And Angel Michael asks some questions. Where you at? Where you come from? Who did this to you? Who did who told you to come here, right? Cause he's the guard. Okay. Go back to where you came from. Okay, go back to where you came from. Where you think that daggone spirit gonna come back to? The person that cast the spell. And you know, so he's like, you know them oh, listen. And they're you lucky if the person is just fucking moving stuff in your house and acting the spirit, the, the, the demon. Listen, well, spirits are different. Let me say, spirits are different, okay? Spirits move shit in your house, but they're not harmful, okay? <laughs> the demons is what you gotta look out for. They'll put your ass on, on the wall and spin your ass around and pull your hair and go in your body, okay? Those are demons, people. Stop calling them demons to do your dirty work. If something is meant for you, it will happen. Do not hold on to something that you're you know why that stuff happens? Because you're messing with the process. That person that was that someone cast a spell on because they want them to stay with them because they I love this person. That person is meant for someone else. This is why the experience that you guys have had has come to an end. Thank you for teaching me this. Now this person has to move forward. Not everybody in your life is there for a the long, a long time, you guys. Everybody has a time and, and a purpose. It could be someone coming in for like five minutes and just talk, having a great ass conversation. You're like, damn, thank you for all of this. I didn't notice. I, all my life, I'm living through this life and nobody actually told me what you just told me. It took about five minutes for you to tell me all this. Now I can share with somebody else. That's life. All these stuff that people buying and you know for to to have them you know have a love come into their lives and stuff. Yeah, you could burn candles and pray upon it and be specific about just positive love coming into your life. Don't buy a candle and then do dark magic with it and say I want this person and write their full name first and last and put it. Put, put it underneath the candle, okay? And summon this wish upon someone that you don't even know is supposed to be with you. You're messing with the process. And this is why your ass is gonna get like this with this daggone demon, okay? Listen, y'all, demons are fucking crazy, all right? And you gotta go get the fucking pastor, what you call it, you gotta go get requests for them to come to your house and get them out of your body, Listen, and listen, it's a process. And most of the time, the church don't want to get involved. Be careful how you guys use them dark magic. That's why we readers, we burn our asses, our, 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 our space out all the time when we do readings because it's so important, okay? All right, guys, so I'm going to end this video. <laughs> Don't come for me with all of this. I don't know why this person is like doing what they're doing next to my car, but um, he's just a mess. You see him? You see him? This is the devil, okay? <laughs> because he really does not need to go around my car. There's no cars here. It's just me, and he just parked his little car trying to be nosy and trying to act like he's doing something. So. But you see, I'm highly protected with my ancestors and everything. Anyways, y'all, love you guys, and I'll see you guys in your next read. Bye, guys.